charity uh, types of charity. We have uh, the ones in uh, international charities as well. But uh, during Christmas time, we do give lots and lots of charities. I mean, you know, it makes you feel good. Why not? It, you know, if it makes people happy when you give charity, why not? In every little way, it doesn't have to be cash or, you know, it can come in any form. It can come in, in the form of clothes, and especially when, you know, countries are struck by natural disasters can always, you know, give clothes, give food, medications, in any form. And I think, you know, if it if it's going to make a whole lot of difference to the others, why not? Uh, talking about charity, we have a saying here that if you can't pay one out of hundred, you cannot pay uh, ten out of thousand. And you cannot pay hundred out of a hundred thousand, and the list goes on. So I think, uh, Doris, you're right. Uh, we should at, re at least try to pay one out of hundred. That will give us some courage. And I tell you, charity, it doesn't like. Uh, uh, I don't think so that it makes you poor. Rather, it it brings you more good luck, and it enhances. Uh, your possessions especially if they're in the form of cash so glorious this month please all the charity to my account the penalty <laughs> no 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 sir uh, that never happened that uh, I threw the ticket collector off the trail <laughs> <laughs> Miss Anum, <laughs> please switch off your webcam because I I can see your webcam on there. So this is one of those rooms where webcams are not allowed. So uh, these are some nostalgic, uh, you can say, events which we enjoy in our life. <laughs> And if Starik sir, I should narrate uh, one of the stories to you. Yes, uh, and you will be really very very surprised that it happened, but it did happen. Yes, you girl and Starik sir and everyone else. I am going to narrate a story. when I went in my I was from uh, 20 yes you can record no problem you can you can record <laughs> so I used to travel by a local train okay local train and that was uh, the system in those days that different students uh, used to come from different areas at that particular station and uh, sometimes the train started and then we used to uh, pull the chain of the train. In, in, in those days, that was uh, there was uh, the system of chain pulling, okay? If you pull the chain of a train, the train will stop, okay? So, uh, the train starts, we So some other students we use and okay. So pull the conduct on in the in the train there is guard uh, which is always in the last compartment of the train. So the he went master. He went to the room of railway station master and complaining, he was complaining that the students uh, are pulling the chain of the train again and again. So, what happened was that those days, the botany students, botany, okay, the botany students used to have a green file. 
the students who uh, who were students of uh, botany subject and i was also a student of botany so some of the students had a botany green file and the file of a botany was a practical file uh, because we always uh, uh, to go to our hand bag but all those books because there were only three or four books we always used to carry those books in our hand so one of the naughty students then showed the uh, green file of botany and uh, shook it like uh, the train uh, like the guard of the train uh, just shakes it and gives a signal to the driver to start the train and what happened that the guard of the train was sitting uh, with the station master in his room and some naughty student uh, really showed the green file to the driver of the train which uh, which was uh, just uh, uh, in the in front of the train some you can say uh, you can say some uh, 200 meter or 250 meters away he thought that the guard is showing me the green signal green uh, flag to start the train and he started the train do in those days there were <laughs> there were no mobile phones I, this is a matter of 19 1984 in those days there were no mobile phones in india not i think even japan uh, there were no mobile phones okay that train went to the next station and then the driver of the train uh, sorry that uh, guard of the train which remained which remained at the previous station with the station master then the station master uh, called the station master of the next station to stop the train there at because the guard of the train was uh, at the last stop remained at the last stop <laughs> so ultimately what happened that uh, because that was a single track that was no, not a double track in those days now it is a uh, double track so the, the driver had no option except bringing back the train to the previous station to just uh, run the train backwards station so all of us got down at that station because thinking the trouble for us uh, because naturally is going to be lost against all those well known students at least there were some students which were or rather who were well known uh, students of that particular station and who were really naughty so what happened that we just got down at that particular station and the driver really brought back the train station yes so that and uh, of course uh, there was an uh, fir was registered and but no nothing ha happened because uh, those were the time even nowadays uh, hardly anyone can take action against it, uh, students for these uh, mischievous acts so ultimately everyone uh, got uh, scot free and uh, after three or four days everything was uh, just normal <laughs> so this was one of those students which uh, really was unusual to happen these uh, or other such instances really do not happen very often <laughs> that a train is uh, going without the guard of that particular train <laughs> okay so those were uh, some instances of our student life which <laughs> okay fire starter uh, maybe uh, some other day but that was really uh, <laughs> and we used to travel free of cost even in the buses although we had uh, uh, the liberty of uh, getting a concessional pass in buses and we always uh, we always uh, you can say travel without uh, ticket in uh, uh, trains <laughs> and most of the times we used to travel bus in buses without a proper ticket because there were many students and when the conductor of the bus insisted to get ticket and sometimes the conductor of the bus and the driver of that bus 
were beaten by those naughty students for asking uh, to buy tickets. <laughs> so that was uh, the time, those were the days <laughs> when we all did these naughty acts and uh, yes, but that was, those things were really wrong to uh, do, but that was the student life and uh, <laughs> yes, Jugar, yes, and I traveled uh, four, four to uh, eight years in travel, uh, in trains. I traveled for eight years uh, in train and uh, I hardly bought tickets. Of course, in those days, money passes and quarterly passes were very, very cheap, but sometimes we used to uh, get uh, monthly or quarterly passes, but very rarely. Generally, we used to travel without uh, uh, <laughs> proper ticket, without, we used to travel free of cost. Unless there are of, uh, you can say, news that uh, some specific checking is going to happen in the next stop and some uh, checking, you can say, uh, staff is there, then we used to buy tickets, but that happened only two or three times in a year. <laughs> Otherwise, most of the times we travel free of cost uh, in, in trains and mostly in buses also. <laughs> so, it happens in uh, students' life. And in India, we have got uh, too many liberties uh, to enjoy here because uh, there are certain things which uh, happen only in India and fire starter I am quite sure that you will agree with me that there are certain things which happen only in India which do not happen in any other parts of the world <laughs> okay so friends uh, I am I have been on the mic for uh, quite a a good time now, so I really do not want to hog the mic uh, to... Uh, <laughs> so anyone of you uh, can raise your hand and uh, just try something else because it is uh, 7.48 p.m. here in India right now and I need to... Okay, uh, so I have been... Have you ever jumped? Yes, 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 yes! And I made a mistake. I, I used to, most of the students used to try jump off the tent without uh, it came to a complete stop. Most of the students, when it was about to stop, we used to jump off the tent. That was the life. But one day, what happened with me? My niece was with me because my sister uh, used to live in that particular city or town where uh, my college was. And sometimes uh, I used to stay uh, with my sister, okay? So one day, uh, it was the holiday for two or three days and uh, my niece uh, uh, really was interested to come to uh, my home, okay? So I, I was just uh, traveling with her and as usual, I really jumped off the train when it was just about to stop. Uh, and the mistake, the biggest mistake I, I made was that I really uh, hold, uh, held the hand of my niece also and she also jumped off the train. And she was only, you can say, 9 or 10 years of age and we both fell down. But fortunately, nothing serious happened and uh, it, was, it was only just a slight scratch on our hand, on my hand and on her hand. <laughs> no, no, we were not at the rooftop. We were just in the compartment, but we jumped 